in the center. Click either on start or index. You might have to tell it to use file weasel or ice weasel rather. So right click on it, open with, ice weasel. food processing as you go further down livestock harvesting various types of veterinary fisheries forestry soil and irrigation food processing further down you go gives into more information there's also appropriate technology uh, biodiesel energy storage electricity how to make charcoal, wind pumps, hydraulic ram pumps, wind generators, clothing, how to sterilize water, desalinate water, how to build shelter. There's all these various files in here. And they just need to download the CDW3D and boot them in there, load them on this thumb drive. And with the Nopics, drive you can boot almost any computer now I've booted this computer I'm going to shut it down and I'm going to use my other Nopix thumb drive
this is another one of my 32 gigabyte thumb drives that are set up for Nopix with the CD3, the CD3 WD files. And this is a generic Chinese Android 2.2 tablet. As I said, it won't boot it. Android has it doesn't boot Android systems, at least not yet. But I will be able to access my files. That's for reading the PDF files that are there. I will use the Opera browser. And I forgot to put this one in, so what I'll do is I'll just use the file browser, which is right here. Okay, this one's not going to work for me here. Oh, nope, there it is. Preparedness. CD3WD. Index. Takes a little bit of load, but I do have access to my files. It is loading slowly. Like I said, slowly, and you figure there are over a thousand files, or a thousand links on that main page, index page, it takes a while, especially for something that only has 128 megabytes of RAM. There we go. And all those files are available. Turn it, makes it a little larger. You can go into the menu and make these even larger. But you click on what you want. It'll take a while, but it will load and you will have access to the files on this thumb drive. Okay, this thumb drive can be plugged into computer over here. Okay. We're out of there. I will unmount this.
this. Now, I'm going to put this boot up properly. The fact that I booted it with Nopix earlier doesn't matter a bit to this. It doesn't damage the file system. It didn't even touch the hard drive unless I tell it to. to install the driver for I don't think this one's been on. There we go. but the Nopix and the CD3WD software doesn't affect anything. Okay, this is saying, it's almost ready, there we go. The device is ready to use. And my automatic virus scan started scanning it. Here we go. My, this has 28.8 .8 gigabytes on it with Nopix and the CD3WD. Uh, I forgot about doing that. Which is Windows 7 annoyance. You have to click right click, left, right click and then click open. And there's the CD3WD files. You can click either on Start or Index. Please excuse how slow this is. This thing's only got one gigabyte of RAM. But you saw how even with a tenth, it only had 120 megabytes of RAM. It still loaded the files.
Here we go. Oops. Open that back up. I clicked one time too many. said this being slow it's kind of my fault but the files are there here we go Here are the files. Same files as on the other one. It took so long. I did not want to do any cuts to this. I wanted you to see how long it actually took. Uh, this is a little HP Mini with one gigabyte of RAM, and this is an Android 2.2.3 Chinese tablet. 